everyone. Hey guys. Happy Sunday yes. and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And I hope that you've just followed Milky Way Art, Viral Flow, Lisa Marvin, and Mina Villegas, all the way through to us here. So that yes. was the TLP collab guys, all pouring for the second day of the first weekend of pours. And then next weekend, you've got another seven or eight artists, ourselves yeah. included, yes. alongside some really, really awesome people, all using TLPs in the Piggy Love collaboration. Piggy Love. Piggy Love. Who doesn't love some piggies? So, um, yeah, thank you for being here. I know it's been a lot, it will be a long day of premieres because after us, mm -hmm. you've then got Sarah and Gina and Karen. Mm -hmm. So, um, lots and lots of really fun pause for you. We appreciate you being here watching in the premiere and chatting. And if you're watching this after the fact, please don't forget to check out all the TLP guys and then all the guys after us on the premiere. Exactly. Lots of fun to be had today. Show pony. Yes. Less waffle. Let's waffle. Let's just get straight to the table and let's <laughs> tell everyone what we're doing at the table. Okay, perfect. How about that? We'll keep you in suspenders until we get there. <laughs> suspenders. All right, guys, we'll see you at the table. Let's get pouring. Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. It's Lee here, and I've got something really fun planned. I'm going to have a go with the triple cup. It's a cup in a cup in a cup. And this is the 18 ounce version with the handle. These you can get from paintpourstore.com. Yes. Now the show pony had a go at this on the channel the just the other day mm -hmm. and straight poured. Did you I wonder did. your straight pour or did you pour it in the same spot? No, you, you poured it in the same spot. I did pour it in the same um, spot. But he layered multiple colors in his three chambers. Well, someone out there, and I apologize, I can't remember who it was, said, I wonder what would happen if you just layered with three colors. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take one color and layer it in each of these chambers and see what happens. So let me talk you through my colors real quick. These are nice and simple. I've got the Amsterdam, this is greenish blue. And I've never used this one before. I'm kind of excited about it. This is Amsterdam's soft gold. Yeah. And then my third color is deep violet by Liquitex Basics. And I'm gonna layer my cup exactly like that. I'm gonna have the dark and then the gold and then the dark color. I did measure these chambers and they're actually all uh, six ounces each because it's an 18 ounce cup. So this chamber, even though it looks bigger, is the same as each of these other chambers. They're all eight ounces. I did. Uh, sorry, they're all six ounces. I did measure them with water in them just to see. So in terms of volume wise, it doesn't really matter where I put the colors, but I am thinking about how they're gonna come out of the cup. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna do what you did show pony and straight pour. I don't think I'm gonna wander this one. I'm gonna, okay. I really just wanna see what the result is of sure. these three colors straight pour in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to actually just layer these colors right in front of you guys, because there's no reason for me to do this on the side. I'm gonna hold this stick show pony if you don't mind, because yeah. I might need it. So here is my deep violet, and I'm gonna do deep violet in the far chamber. I just decided. Exactly what I was gonna do. Really? Yep. Well, I never. <laughs> All right, so that's my deep violet. Okay, then the soft gold is going to go in the center chamber. It's so funny. If you would have done green in the, in the next chamber, those are Mardi Gras colors. I knew that you were going to say that. Either that or LSU, you know? Well, LSU is purple and gold. Well, that's the two colors I've put in the cup. I was waiting for you to say, there's the Mahat School colors, because it's what you say every time. <laughs> <laughs> and then the greenish blue is going to go in this cup. And like I said, these chambers are all identical. So we've now got 18, actually 18 ounces of paint in this cup, um, which is more than I'm gonna need for this 16 by 20 inch canvas, yes. I forgot to tell you, which the show pony has backed and he has pinned for me. So thank you, show pony. You're welcome. This pot right here is my base coat or flow extender, however you wanted to use it, but I will be using it as a base coat. Um, this is a concophony of lots and lots and lots of different colors. It's heavy on the silver, but there's definitely some greens and some blues in here. So it's got this really like beautiful, like shiny mossy color, yeah. which, is, which is really, really pretty. Um, 
I'm gonna use it as a base coat. Base coat being that I'm putting this down and covering the canvas with it before I pour. If it was gonna be a flow extender, I would have put my composition on the canvas and then use this around the composition and it would have helped my composition to flow. And yes. the word flow extender. So let me get this base coat on the canvas and I'll be right back with you in just one second. All right, folks, delicious base coat down, somewhat covered, you know, got my edges and everything. And then here is our cup. I'm now gonna straight pour this one right into the center of this canvas and just see what happens as these colors mingle. I'm gonna do it right here for you, show Pody. So, I already know that this is not going to be truly beautiful. <laughs> because as I pour out the cup, what I could totally see that was happening was it was basically just throwing out the purple, the gold, and the blue in that order. But I'm gonna see if I can create something as I stretch this one out. I have just torched it and I will tilt this one out um, because I really wanted to show you what happened if you just put three colors in that in that cup. Yeah. These colors were particularly thick. It was definitely our everything else pouring consistency. It was gloss medium, 25%. It was paint, 25%, and it was Floetrol, 50%. Um, but I kept them thick because I really wanted to make sure that I kept them, you know, thick or the lines separated on the canvas. But yeah, I'm going to tilt this one out and we're going to see what happens. Show pony? Yes. It's tilting time. It is tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this one out. You're making it, making it brighter, right through the gray. All right, I couldn't in good conscience <laughs> leave this one the way it was. I'll tell you, I did the little like, thank you, and here it is, and blah, blah, blah. Put it on the floor, Jeremy poured his, and I'm, but I can't, I can't do it. It's like, it's screaming at me on the insides. So, I clearly just split pouring, straight pouring, sorry, straight pouring out of this cup onto this canvas just didn't work. So I wanna do a ring pour instead. So I've layered the cup in exactly the same way I did to pour this on the canvas. Yeah. I clearly don't need a base coat anymore because I've got a lot of paint on this canvas already. Mm -hmm. And I have stretched it off just to make sure that there's nothing on here, which is fine. I'm now going to ring pour this one onto the canvas instead. Show pony. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go for it. Are you ready, sir? I am ready. All right, then let's do this. Everything feels a little bit, a little bit lighter with you. Something's letting me heal. You're making it, making it brighter, right through the gray. Well, that was a very strange center, once again. All right, maybe this cup is just not made for three colors alone, but we're gonna see as we stretch this one out. It's tilting time. It's I tilting time. Hope there's some beautifulness that's sitting under these colors. We're going to see. With the text I 
find XO. My ace, boom, boom, no flex, no. I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take your way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later. But you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me. All right. Like, 25% happier with this one, but still not really loving the final composition. I'm going to say this to you guys, if you buy that cup in a cup in a cup, that I would suggest that you do layer those colors up just to give you a far more interesting composition, or maybe I'm just not using it right. You know, maybe there's a different, better way of actually using that cup. But um, I know that we've got a far cuter composition previously when we've gone different layers, layers. in those cups, yeah. yeah, for sure. But I absolutely like this better than the previous pour. Yeah, most definitely. Um, it's still, I just, I know that there's so much more that could be done on this canvas. Um, however, I am gonna take you now in for a close up. This is me done, I have touched it, I will get my edges. Thank you guys, bit of an experiment here for you. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I am excited about today's pour and I got some really great interesting colors picked out. You do. And I'm really excited about I'm using a couple of TLPs. Whoop whoop. Yes, so excited. And you're using the Slick Piggy recipe? I am. Mm -hmm. I'm using the Slick Piggy recipe and I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas mm -hmm. It has been pinned and taped on the bottom. It does. Um, I'm also using the True Flow Saks Acrylic Gel Medium. Um, to use in that Sleek Piggy recipe. Absolutely. So this is a recipe of our own making. Yes. There are a lot of gel mediums, gloss mediums out there, but this is definitely the best that we found to disperse the piggies and then mix with Floetrol. So a couple of heaped tablespoons of this, about a tablespoon of piggies, and then Floetrol mixes up like eight to 12 ounces of volume. Yes. Thank you, sir. Let me take that off you. Yes. Now, some of the colors that I'm using, the Slick Piggy is, I'm using Agapanthus, Ooh. which is this beautiful, like, purpley, I wanna say, it's not Lilac-y? Really, yeah, lilac, lilac-y kind of color. It's really pretty. Um, and then I'm using this color called Parakeet. Look at that, you guys. I wanna, when you it's say it, so I wanna great. go, Parakeet, for some reason. <laughs> Makes me wanna go, Parakeet. <laughs> Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Show plenty of having the words. <laughs> and I'm also using this beautiful turquoise blue by, uh, by Amsterdam. Turquoise. Love that. Love it. Turquoise. Um, I have greenish blue also that I'm using that uh, Lee also used I did, here. I used that one. The hashtag uh, Studio Hubby used. Um, now this one is called Rose. It's by Arteza. This shade of pink is stunning crazy crazy beautiful it's just so i mean i wish you guys could really just get a, a gist of how beautiful this is um it's very it has very bright no pearl in it it's no not a pearl but it looks pearly it looks pearly mm. which i'm in love with so i know you're excited about these colors mm -hmm. i'm excited for you to do a good pour. i feel a little ashamed and embarrassed about my pour it definitely was not something that i would normally show but like i said i want to show it because i was asked what will happen if you straight pour with those three colors well, it's also we want to show everything that you know on yeah. the channel well not, it's not everything it's not always you know because sometimes just, they you are just always trying out a beautiful piece of artwork i, know, I mean but there are you know you stumble and they don't you need know. To, they don't need to or the guys at home don't always need to see all of the stumbles but this one yeah we thought it was we thought it was worthwhile showing yes. you oh, what am i playing with right here i, I got know, my sarah mag chopstick yes you do yeah so i'm thinking about wrecking this one we'll see what happens when i pour the composition onto the canvas right so let's get to layering my cups and what are you doing I'm doing a, a triple ring pour. Excellent. Okay, yes. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens. Okay, go for it. Okay, guys. So 
I, I am done layering my cups. I have three of them right here. Are they all layered exactly the same? They are layered exactly the Lovely. same. Lovely. Yes, so we'll see what happens. Um, I got my flow extender. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my rings. Mm -hmm. I'm going to maybe wreck it. Okay. I'm gonna put my flow extender around it, torch it, and then start stretching. Perfect. It's very Hawaii Five-O. Really? I'm loving it. Yeah. Yeah. Like really, it? really fun colors there. Show pony. Okay. Awesome. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wreck it. I'm. I'm just gonna wreck it like in the middle. All right, you guys, it is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out.
So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Experimental day in the studio for me. Almost a scraper. Yeah. But I did do it again, and we have some dry results to show you because it's been so terribly, terribly cold with mood production indoors. <laughs> we have. And the, the upside of that is that paintings are drying within 24 hours. I know. Um, so we've got a lot of dry results to show you over the upcoming episodes. But this is mine. So, people, what I was asked to do was use one colour in each of the chambers of mm -hmm. that cup in a cup in a cup. And what you can see here, even after pouring this again, because the straight pour didn't come out particularly pretty, even the ring pour hasn't got a lot of a composition here. We've got like three very strong colours showing on the canvas. The, the soft gold, the uh, the blue and the purple. So um, yeah, this, this cup does not allow you a great composition if you are just gonna layer single colours in those chambers. My advice to you is this, layer lots of colours in those chambers and you'll get a really fantastic design just like the show pony has done previously. So this was an experiment, folks. Um, this is not something that I will hang on my wall. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. I definitely like the ring pour better than the straight pour. It's definitely an abstract piece. Yeah. Um, but yes, not my finest moment, people's. Not my finest moment. He's so hard on himself. I know. So mine... Which is one of your finest moments. I am in love with this piece. Oh, I mean, it, it just like, it came out so well. It's and intergalactic, it's cosmic, it's beautiful. You can see the TLPs that oh my you God, put in TLPs here. The TLPs just glisten and shine in this. I'm not going to say this is my favourite colour, but it's my favourite name, Parakeet. Parakeet. Um, Parakeet is definitely one of my favourite names of all of these paws. Yeah. Um, I really like this one a lot, Show Pony. This is a really wonderful paw. Thank you. And your Rex just added to this one. It oh was yeah, stunning. Totally did. Really, really beautiful. All right, peeps, so there you go. They were a couple of fun pours for you today. Yes. Um, as I said, we've got trains before us and after us. Um, so please, please, please go check everyone out. We've got our usual pours on Tuesday and on Friday for you. And then on Saturday, we're pouring as part of the TLK, T, blah, 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 blah. Parakeet <laughs> TLP collab. And on Sunday, we've got a normal episode for you. And we have got some fun stuff coming up. We do. So next week, around midweek, we're going to throw up an auction premiere. Yes. Um, it will have at least 20 to 30 pieces in that premiere, of which this will not be one. And that premiere will show you all of the pieces that are available to purchase. Yes. That auction then will go up the following Sunday, uh, Saturday, the following Saturday. Yes. So um, that is going to be the 19th, I believe, of February. And, uh, and then on the Sunday, we're going to do another Super Chat Super Sticker giveaway 
with the opportunity to grab the final in the series of the 24 by 24 sparkly paintings. I know, you guys, and this one's really beautiful. Shall I show everyone? Show everyone. <laughs> so this is it. This is the final of the series that we will be doing a Super Chat Super Sticker giveaway. Um, I loved every piece that we've auctioned off, but this oh, one yeah. is probably my favorite. Um, I just loved that blue up at the top oh. and that blue, brilliant blue ring that's got in it. So this is 24 by 24. It's a deep canvas that has got a really wonderful dark frame on it. It's been finished with a resin finish and then it's got a proprietary bend, blend, blend? Lord. <laughs> of sparkle on top of this one. So um, it's a really wonderful, wonderful piece. So auction will be on the 19th of February. Yes. And that Super Chat Super Sticker giveaway will be part of our live episode on the 20th. 20th. Please come and see us back then. All right, I need to go clearly have another cup of coffee, put, <laughs> put a new set of teeth in and, uh, and get our day started, uh, but please, Go check out the TLP guys before us, the train after us, and we'll yes. see you and chat to you all through it. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a fun Sunday. We'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.